Welcome to This Week I'm Learning, the podcast where the topics are lightly researched and the hosts are ranty. This is episode 30, recorded December 27th, 2020, the final episode in this season. Um, I'm your host, Brandon Vader, also known as Dracanis. Directly next to me, Charlie Stifler, also known as Mjolnir. To the Caddy Wampus, we have Colton Roper, also known as Seeker4761. I was, I was second? Oh my god. I've only ever heard <laughs> one other person in my entire life use the word Caddy Wampus. And really? we all worked for him. Well, not all of us, but three quarters of us worked for him. <laughs> Bro, it's the final episode of the year, man. It's I've actually heard that word no a lot recently. Caddy yeah. Wampus, bro. That deserves some hooch. By the way, introduce our third person as well, fourth person. I don't Before know. I forget. It's okay. And down below me, Cody Stratman, also known as Psycho Nitrous or Zito Valder on some games. Mm. Gotta keep life in. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're doing a special episode today to mark the end of the year. Today we'll be talking about our predictions for next year and even some further out predictions. The goal tonight will be to say one realistic prediction, one silly prediction, and then one we'd like to see, even if it's not maybe realistic. So to kick us off, Cody. What are your predictions? What? You're starting with me? Okay. Uh, That's the it's normal. Like it was in the I know. Like I no. wasn't. I was figuring you were gonna, since we were doing a different it's format. The script. Damn. The silly format. Okay. So, my silly prediction. It's a negative silly prediction, but I. I man, I almost don't want this to be the silly prediction. Uh, the Civil War. That that's. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my oh. negative, silly, terrible get, prediction. Get, uh, you know, you're not. Weren't we? Um, I don't. I don't think it. Weren't we oh. guesstimating that last year too? Or no, no, no. Uh, last year, this time was World War Three. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. That's true. Because it's... of Guam and stuff. Um. Iran. Yeah. My more realistic. So I I actually. It's, it's silly even in my mind because I think be, it, it's more of regional differences rather than state differences. So it's still too commingled to easily dismingle. But peeps, we got to stop demonizing each other. Like, got to do that. Anyway, that's all I'll say about that. Um, my more realistic prediction is there's going to be a major change in the Asia Pacific region in the next year. Uh, hmm. That that's my more realistic prediction. Just with the fact China's long game is finally finally going to become clear. I don't uh, I don't think so. I They've pissed a lot of people off. And when you look at... So either they're going to try and do something crazy like Taiwan. Or they, they're they going to piss enough people off where something is going to happen there negative to, negatively towards them. I, I don't know. I, I, hope, I hope that's not the case. Um, yeah, and I don't think... Tri Sorry, I'm going one more, too, uh, for realistic. I, I don't think travel is going to... I, I think it's going to... When it comes back, I think it's going to come back, like, all in a rush. Crazy. But I don't think that's going to happen until uh, October. I think October of 2021 is going to be insane for trying to get somewhere travel. And that's just well, because... Well, I'm glad I'm flying to Italy in September. Yeah. Right before. Yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, I... Uh, yeah. It, it's going to be around then. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is by then, most people should be vaccinated. So, 
That's that's a pretty bold prediction, if you ask me. Yeah. Okay. By then, most that's a people pretty hopeful who, prediction. That's a very hopeful who prediction. Who want to be vaccinated will be vaccinated. I'm just gonna make that little extra <laughs> yeah. stipulation. But though the only people that will be traveling to another country will be those people. So. Well, they're gonna have to. Yep. Probably. So. Um, and then what was the final? Okay, I know I did a two four. Futuristic five years. Realistic. Oh, hope. Five as a hope? Yeah, hopeful. My, my oh, hopeful yeah. prediction is that we get people who understand technology in government and that we see privacy and kind of we we figure out censorship and privacy those those are my hopes and we figure out how to talk to each other 2021 this is where it happens why not fuck it yep no. Those are my lofty thoughts, I guess. Okay. Colton. All right. I like that. So what? Realistic, hopeful, silly? Does that sound like a yep. decent order in my case? Yeah, sure. sure. I'm going to say realistically, I think the field of either quantum computing or quantum physics is going to have a major breakthrough of some sort. I think probably even in the first quarter of the year there's there's some research that eventually is going to be a topic that is pretty pretty sci-fi um so i'm thinking by the end of the year there might be some real real big big changes in those fields and realistic that's not even hopeful i, I really do think so so that's okay. what i'm hoping for there um well realistically i think it's going to happen uh my pie in the sky hopeful prediction i hope god this is even too hopeful i don't this is just ridiculous but i would hope that people in general realize they live on a planet if that makes any sense that the imaginary lines on the ground don't matter exactly that the the pursuit of money the per, the fighting each other the the weird disconnect that people have with each other with the where they get their food where they live with people around the world i would really hope that people realize that they're not the center of the of the universe that's that's my that's my really high lofty goal, my prediction. Unlikely as it is, because we've had ten thousand years of human history to say otherwise. But maybe this is the year, because with some of the stuff that's happening, going to be happening in the next fifty years, we may have to do that, or we don't survive. Simple as that. Yeah. But to lighten the mood. <laughs> I would, I think it'd be hilarious if a powerful person in government, and we're talking one of these really old motherfuckers, it doesn't even have to be, it could be any government. I would love them to soil themselves on national television. And there's absolute proof that this happened. Like, like the other people that are standing behind them, we see their faces just go... <laughs> <laughs> the the world the great and powerful it's kind of related to my previous hopeful thing that like you're not anybody you're just like the rest of us and i think it'd be hilarious so that's what i'm hoping for i think that would maybe it either end the world in terms of war because someone would feel like they were severely insulted or maybe people would just relax a little bit so that's my my silly one hmm All right. Uh, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to go silly first. The Macarena is making a comeback. And proof, 
Is this now all you're all singing in your head right now? All of you, all three of you, are <laughs> singing it He's not in wrong. your head right now. And uh, I don't know. Consequently, everyone that watches this will also sing the Macarena in their head. And yeah, uh, it's making a comeback. So there, there's I... that. Now, does anybody know the I lyrics behind that. to it other than Hey Macarena? Because I don't. I know. Yes. But I, don't know. I can't sing them, but I know them. Okay. Really? It's it's Spanish, but I can't one of... I can't speak Spanish. I, I'm one of all of the, the the people that understand Spanish in the world. They they all know what the words the Macarena are. Fair enough. But does anyone here really know what they mean? What they translate right. into, I've read it once. But no, nope. I'm sure. I'm sure we could Google that, and that might be worth, worth it's, looking up one. Day. I will tell you, it is the equivalent of Mambo Number no. Five, where it is just talking about just all of his gibberish. his prowess. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, Macarena! Yeah. Aye. All right. Um. My realistic prediction is that uh, concerts, bars, sporting events, uh, r- uh, restaurants, sometime quarter three, quarter four, are going to absolutely explode in demand and exceed their pre-pandemic capacities by almost a total of 125%. So I'm expecting them to go 25% over their previous usuals because everyone is just so hungry for crowds and and normal the real normal not the new normal god the real i normal. fucking hate that the new normal phrase like i hate that yeah. slogan mm-hmm. that yep. it should be I the want new real temporary normal, bitch. yeah i want real normal like no you're not I, selling that on me I it's the new be a temporary better normal. i don't want i don't want the old normal i want a better normal what's yeah, a better that's... normal kind of go back to my pie in the sky come on man okay, stay with it okay that's well, uh, I would agree with that. I like that uh, idea that people are going to want to get out and at least the people who are following the rules in this country, because there are other countries where they're already doing that. Right. So it's already been proven that a large population can do that even in the middle of a, pop- of a, of a pandemic. pandemic. So yeah. All right, maybe now I like that. Here's my hopeful. So that was my realistic. Here's my hopeful. We're 150 days till optimal vaccination. 150 days and over 75% of all of the people who were planning on getting vaccinated are vaccinated, which hopefully puts us around 60 to 70% of, of the, the United States that's going to get vaccinated. Now, I am not saying that everyone that is going to get vaccinated eventually will be vaccinated in the next 150 days. I'm just saying everyone that's willing to right now that seventy five percent or more of them will be vaccinated in the next hundred and fifty days. What's the because maybe you would know, what's the like likely scenario, I guess in that in that terms where so we vaccinated, like if, the we vaccinated the first million people in three days after the initial approval of Pfizer. Um, I see that only getting faster. As as any, so like, for example, when we started doing strike team stuff for work, which is COVID testing for nursing homes or, or outbreak areas, um, first couple times, it was a cluster. Like, no one knew what they were doing. Uh, we didn't know what mistakes to make and how to avoid them and all that stuff. But after like the sixth or seventh time you've done a strike team, especially with the same people, there's just this natural flow that happens. And we went from, you know, testing 300 people in six hours and being like, wow, that was a lot of work to testing 700 people in five hours. And like, we're done already. Right. And, you know, I just, I foresee that with vaccination increasing exponentially as long as, as long as the third vaccine, which is up for FDA approval, probably this week gets approved and that they meet their production goals, I believe, 150 days till 75% vaccination. That'd be surreal. Hmm. That's have, that's over 100 million people vaccinated. That's the goal. To have, yeah, to have this whole thing just kind of... And that's just end. the United States. Yeah. Hmm. That'd be... 
That'd be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we keep our shit together then, I guess, at this point. Right? <laughs> but like I said, the Macarena is coming back, so... I... It's probably related in some way to you. Is that the song the world will the rally on? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's how they actually are going to get the efficient, most efficient way to like do this vaccine. So you, you do two at once. You do one, two people vaccinated. You turn over, you grab another, two people vaccinated. Then you do two behind you, and then you go like this, and then you have two on your hips. So you just, you're just getting like eight people every, every time that song comes through. I, damn it, Medi medicine, get on it. Doctors and scientists, musicians, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Someone's going to write the we are the world for COVID. It's happening. <laughs> All right, Brandon, take us home. Okay. So, realistically, I think foldable, rollable, and dual screen phones are here to stay, and we're going to see more of them more styles and more manufacturers of them next year it's yeah, yeah i think they're no, here I... to stay and how many of them will you have <laughs> <laughs> one of them for how I long? think only one <laughs> uh, definitely definitely the duo two which interestingly enough on it i think it's actually going to be a little thicker than the version one because they've been having problems with some durability around the USB-C port. Oh, yeah. It just being be way too hole. thin. Got to be real durable. <laughs> <laughs> you need a thick ball. Thick with two Cs. Little, little junk in that Microsoft trunk. <laughs> yeah. So that's your realistic? Uh, that's my realistic. Yeah. Okay. I, I think uh, the... The candy bar slab is going to start fading into the the cheap phones and kind of into the past. I think it's going to be all about Here's, changing aspect devices. I, I would like to add a little bit to your thing. Um, I'm sorry. I'm monopolizing. God, this has never slightly. happened before on Twill <sighs> on our end of the year yeah. special. This is the first. <laughs> I would like to see that as we progress through this, you know how I, I have this huge pet peeve with vertical video. Absolutely loathe it. Unless you're filming a canyon, like a dirt bike ride through a canyon, like that would be awesome on vertical if you also had a vertical screen to watch it on. You just turn your TV on its side, Cody. It's an easy uh, fix. Actually, there's TVs now that are... But the, yeah. there are sci-fi has already created a solution for this and it's the expanse with their phones. They have the little hollow projection on their phones. It's a glass thing, you know, the same form factor as your regular phone. But if you ever notice when you're watching their phones, the screen, like it like pops up and flips. So I am hoping we see that feature in phones soon. And that will make vertical video go away forever. The only thing that for that to happen, you'd have to have like Snapchat and Instagram. Like they'd have to be gone. All the Facebook stories I, like that would just have to spontaneously die. Which I, I think and there's you know. way more of them than there are of you, Cody. I think we should do it. I like it. <laughs> I'm not do saying it. anyone's right or anyone's wrong. I'm just saying... <laughs> The TikTokers, the Snapchatters, the Instagrammers outnumber the you and everyone you've ever world. met. Yes. Or will, maybe yep. humans we'll will evolve and kind of like halibut, <laughs> our eyes will start, you know, doing that. Again, there's so many people doing it. Like, give it three or four generations. <laughs> you might just see kids born with their eyes just a little bit like this. Just... Yep. Yep. Why not? Okay, sorry. Well, there's a real, lot of reasons why not, but whatever. <laughs> well, with, with the inevitable nuclear war that's going to happen. Oh, I mean, come shit. on. You just take halibut right. DNA and human DNA and, well. <laughs> that's not frightening there's, in the least. There's some madman in the world that's like, this is going to happen. So when I'm playing Fallout 4 in real life and I have to fight a half, ha half man, half halibut, <laughs> I'm going to be cursing your name. The most dangerous predator in the world. 
<laughs> By the way, his name is Hal. Hal. No, Hal his e. name is Hal Dave. E. Bit. <laughs> Dave's Dave. not here, man. No, Dave, I can't do that. I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, I can't. I can't turn my phone. Sorry, Dave. All right, Brandon. I'm sorry. Dave. Right. Now we're done hijacking <laughs> your topic. Fuck Dave. Go, go, to, go on to the next one. <laughs> Uh, my pie in the sky is that we'll see internet privacy increase, more companies maybe take a more positive stance on internet privacy, and I mean, we're seeing it a little bit with Apple, although kind of for the wrong reasons. Yeah. But, yeah, like their, their notifications saying, hey, this app wants access to this. That, that's a good step forward. For the wrong well, reasons, mean, but was it it's a good this step year forward. or last year? It was last year the GDPR in in the European Union passed, right? Yeah, I was think it, it was. Year? I think it was 2019. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's pretty yeah. comprehensive in terms of privacy. There's there's, there's still some... a lot of loopholes. Yeah, it's a, but maybe it's a decent building block. Yeah, absolutely. It's better than you know three four years ago. But. Yeah, but it yeah definitely goes back to kind of our censorship uh, podcast we had a few months back at this point. Jesus, we've been doing this a while. Well, no, it's privacy. Um, we haven't done censorship yet. Well, we have privacy. You're yeah. right. I'm sorry. We're gonna do censorship, which is is related. But I mean, if if the consumers eventually want it and people are willing to create programs or apps or uh, functions of devices that are, that are allow for it. It's going to happen whether the big companies want it or not, which would be nice if, because they have all the money and all the power and they know everything. It'd be nice if they, they took their, their position a little more serious in the public discourse of the internet. So maybe that would be awesome. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. Burn yeah. down Cox internet. <laughs> <laughs> I figure... I, I realized a lot of people not might not know that the internet provider that I use is actually called C O X Cox Internet down here in the great state of Arizona. And, so when they F you and, uh, you're getting F by Cox. Constantly. Yeah. Every month, baby. They... Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. He's got pay Terrible. for the Cox. Yeah, it's worse <laughs> than that. You get F and you have to pay for it. So many overages. Scrooby right. Daniels. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, my silly one. Arms are going to be everywhere. God, fuck arm me. is going to take it. over the world. I had to. I had to get one last arm joke in for the year. I hate you. God, what are you going to do next year? You're going to have to come with a whole new bit for arm legs. <laughs> Nah. No, he's been skipping Why leg day all this time. time. He's got little time. chicken legs at this point. Because all he does There's is There's a reason day. you never see me from here down. <laughs> well, it's because you're not wearing pants, but there's another reason. <laughs> Wait, you've been wearing pants? I am certainly not. You guys not. are getting paid? <laughs> well, I, I would agree with that. I With Microsoft announcing they're getting pretty serious about creating their own product. Uh, uh-huh. Amazon has been doing their own shit. All these pe- all these big companies are throwing their money at it. It looks if, it, if it's economically profitable. Pretty rough for Intel right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's what you get for not innovating. I think we will live. So, what do you guys think that um, Bitcoin's gonna be at this time next year? Oh. It's either going to be like in three dollars or six hundred thousand dollars. There's no in between. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wee bit of a range. <laughs> Have you seen the volatility of Bitcoin this goddamn year? It's what it's always well, yeah, been. I actually was looking at it right before the podcast. It was like what five thousand was the low point this year, and then it yeah, it's, and now it's twenty six, uh, seven. A- actually, um, I think it was like twelve hours ago or something. It hit twenty eight k. It like hit it and then dropped down. So I bet we'll see thirty K at some point like next year. The Star Citizen error. 
<laughs> yeah, we're all just going to yeah. disconnect and not be able to get back into the server. I think we've earned a year I mean, off, guys. I'm okay with that. <laughs> life, life is just a hologram anyway, right? Yeah. I would agree. Alright, I gotta send us off properly. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Oh, Uh-oh. Wait, I can do... <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! I did not have anything prepared for this. One, one last thing I. I would hope, gentlemen, is that, as I've said in our private... Our private talks. Uh, I'm very proud of us for actually sticking with this podcast. Um, hopefully we will continue to create semi-interesting content. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to set that we, bar too high. We're setting the bar right here. <laughs> we, hey, we have international viewers. They're not consistent and they're not always from the same country, but there's always one somewhere in the world has downloaded our podcast. So that just proves it's not our moms, it's not our sons, it's not our dads. There is a real fan out there. And this is for you, wherever you are. (laughs) I think so. I like it. I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. I'm enjoying this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely enjoying this. More apple pie hooch. (laughs) (laughs) Homemade, apparently. (laughs) Some crazy motherfucker decided to make alcohol in a bathtub or something. Kaboom! <laughs> a toilet. Out. Turns out it's probably Belle Delphine. Same same person. Oh. Bath water and <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> well, if in about same bath. When we come back so, af- as after long as there's enough. Enough. How, how many thousands floors. of dollars did you pay for that hooch? Because that'll <laughs> tell you the answer right there. Hopefully, it's highly it alcoholic, I- so it kills whatever's <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> Things you make Thanks you for go, ruining Ugh. it. Now I'm going to drink something else. Yeah, <laughs> right in the trash. <laughs> uh, happy 2021, all of you folks. Happy 2021. Happy, happy 2021. 2021. Don't forget to say Jumanji at the end of 2020. At night. Please. Let's... So help me God, if one of you does not do it, I will find you. Let's let's try to have a better year, shall we? Yes, let's. Absolutely. God, I hope so. It'd be nice. It would be necessary. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, Brandon, play us off. Well. Thank you all for joining us on this episode of This Week I'm Learning. You can find us wherever you listen to podcasts as well as on YouTube at This Week I'm Learning. For you social media peeps out there, you can find us on Twitter at This Twill. If you'd like to contact us, you can, of course, send an email to twill at thetechpirate.net. As this is the season ender episode, we will be taking a two-week hiatus before coming back for season two. See you all in the new year. Bye-bye.
People people don't even know that milk comes from cows. They think it comes from the fucking store. Oh, okay. As, yeah. as long as you weren't going to say milk come from, comes from bowls, you know. I'm sure there's some places <laughs> out there. It's been a rough oh. economy on all of us. It's high in protein. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's getting that's getting washed down right now. Yeah, mm, Belle Daphine. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, sores on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that a shot of penicillin can't fix. Fuck. Except for you can't get it if you get the vaccine. So have fun. <laughs> <laughs>